guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do a quick little video just kind of spotlighting some new shadows that I received from Adept Cosmetics thank you very much Adept they did send me their new shades as well as their new faux croc palette to try out so I'm so so excited and happy and thankful that they sent these to me I mean oh my goodness okay so anywho if you don't already know last year I did purchase and do a video on their large bundle it's a bundle of all of their shadows along with your choice of palette I purchased that last year and just fell in love with their shadows that was my first time trying them out and their palettes are just really really nice okay so anyways i wanted to just do a quick video for you guys swatching the new shadows that they sent to me if you want to see my thoughts and just kind of my whole opinion about the large bundle that i purchased last year i will as well as an eye look <laughs> i will go ahead and link that above in the cards i think i've done about at least two videos using their shadows and like i said i really really like them so um what i did want to touch on though is because i have quite a few of their palettes that i've actually purchased on my own but this style of palette i absolutely love it's a little bit heavier because it is plastic you know a nice thick sturdy plastic I purchased mine off of Amazon for about 35 bucks and this is what this empty magnetic palette looks like of course I have some of my own singles in here my square ones I keep in this one but the palette looks like this it's a two-sided palette and there is a clear divider if you can see that a clear divider that separates your shadows so if you want to put mattes on one side or shimmers on the other you can do that but it's so super duper sturdy i love it it's and it's really cute it's pink okay hello and i also have but like i said i purchased that off of amazon for i think like 34.99 i also have a black one so if you don't like pink you know there is a black one last time i checked they're still available and so if you want to grab one you know something sturdy for your singles you can do that like i have like about three of these because i love them so much they come in handy very sturdy and i'm here for it okay so last year like i said when i purchased their large bundle this is the style of palette that i was able to choose um, they had quite a few to choose from. This is the one that I chose and <laughs> this one is really nice. It opens up like a book. So you have one side here with a protective flap and then you have another side over here with a protective flap, but this side has a mirror on it. So it does hold quite a few, you know, shadows in there. And these, I believe they do still sell. Um, they might have some new designs or whatever because like I said they were coming up with some new designs but this one I absolutely love it's so compact so sturdy really nice and I like it so anyways this is the one that I got last year it holds all of my shadows that I already have and I'm going to have to incorporate my new ones so enough of that yeah 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 let's get down to the swatching okay because that's what we came for right <laughs> so like I said, this is their new faux croc palette that they sent me. Very sleek design. I mean, as you can see, has that nice little faux croc look to it. It kind of just reminds me of like a business type thing, you know? Very easy to handle. Not heavy at all. The only thing about this one is there is no mirror in here. It does hold about 63 shadows, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, I will correct it on the screen. But anywho, this is what this palette looks like. As you can see, let me show you a little bit closer. There is an imprint on here that says Adept Cosmetics. Very, very nice. Very classy. I do like that. And then you have your shadows. Very strong magnetic palette. I mean, they do not move at all. <laughs> so these are all the shadows that they sent me. And I was really, really excited when I saw them. They're absolutely gorgeous so so pretty let me just give you a nice little close-up look of these shadows 
And as you can see, I've already been sticking my grubby little fingers in them, <laughs> playing with them. And I created this look today. So I did create myself a little cheat sheet because I don't want to be taking my nicely nestled shadows out of this palette to swatch them. I'm just going to swatch them and um, tell you the name as I swatch it and put it on the screen for you. Okay, so we're going to start out with this gorgeous uh, diamond shade. And the thing with their shadows is they have diamond, shimmers, and mattes. Oh my gosh, the diamonds are so, so pretty. The shimmers are gorgeous and the mattes are extremely pigmented and they blend very nicely. So this first one is ACD00. Now this one is one that I wasn't able to get. I guess it was sold out <laughs> when I ordered my bundle or whatever, but so it wasn't included. So let me just go ahead and swatch this ACD00. Okay, and that is what that one looks like. I think I'm going to turn my lights down so that you can see the color a little bit better. Okay, I think that is a little bit better. So that's what ACD00 looks like. Next, I have ACD5. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. It's like you can't really appreciate the shine and shimmer of these diamonds. Like, is that the one I have on my eye? Yeah, I have that one on my inner corner right now. Few taps, that's what it looks like on the eye. So gorgeous. And they feel so creamy. Okay, so this is ACD10. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how pretty. Next, I have ACD11. It's like you can see the shift in these. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Now, this one's a little bit different. It's kind of like a matte with like gl glitter in it, if you can see that. It's a black matte with some gorgeous like diamond type glitter in there. And this one is ACD12. So that's what it looks like swatched out. It feels like a matte, but just has very, very fine glitters in it. And I did use that in my crease today and I love it. <laughs> it's so, so pigmented. This is ACD 13. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I kind of feel like they look even better far away. Huh? <laughs> this is so pretty. ACD 14, ACD 15, uh, that's one of my favorites, absolute favorites. Do you see the pigmentation on that? Now this one here, OMG, this is ACD 16, uh, do you see that? ACD 16. Ah, oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I gotta go over that again. You see how pretty that? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. And the diamond shades, they kind of remind me of like toppers, but some of them are really opaque. But like this one here, ACD 17. You can see that it's really, it really kind of feels like a topper to me, but it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that. So these are all the new diamond shades that they sent me. Very pretty. Now I'll go ahead and swatch the new shimmer shades that they sent me. So this first one is AC28. This next one is ACS30. I think on the last one I just said AC, but it's ACS. So this is ACS30. Oh, look how opaque those are, you guys. This new formula is so bomb. That's what I have on my lids today. <laughs> ACS30. ACS35.
ACS 36. Well, you guys, this new formula. You see those just one swatch? Oh my gosh. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like satin type shade. Oh, so pretty. ACS 38. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. This is ACS 41. That's gorgeous as well. Oh, oh my goodness. These are so pretty. <laughs> How many times can I say these are so pretty? Oh, they're gorgeous. Listen, if you are a swatch lover like I am, then you understand. You can feel what I'm feeling right now. Y'all know I love me some swatches. Okay, so I'm going to just swatch the mattes now. So this is ACM23. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. And they feel so nice and, and soft and creamy. Not soft in a bad way. Just, they feel nice. This is ACM24. Hello. Like a nice bone shade. No, actually that looks like it has kind of like a peachy. I don't know, but it's pretty. <laughs> ACM26. ACM27. ACM28. ACM29. This one is a really pretty like plum type purple, which I actually used today. And it's not swatching as nice as the other ones, but honey, she is pigmented. And lastly, ACM30, which just, it's a matte black. So I'll go over that again for you. So that is ACM30. So these are all the new matte shadows that they sent to me. Like I said, I have all of their other ones already. These are just the new ones. So, so gorgeous. Very smooth, very creamy. They're not super dry and powdery. Not a lot of kick up at all. I like them. I like them a lot. So I know that they stated they were going to be restocking because they sold out pretty quickly when... See that pigmentation? <laughs> they sold out pretty quickly when they re, you know, launched with their new shadows and new palettes and stuff. And I know they did a restock. So hopefully if there are shadows that you're interested in, they will be in stock. If not, then just, you know, look out for them because I know that they do restock them. So, and the diamond shades, the really shimmery, shimmery, like the ones I have in my inner corner, are six bucks and the shimmers and the mattes are four bucks so i think they're pretty reasonable for the quality very very nice quality so now that we've done all the swatches of the new shades if you'd like to see how i created this look today using some of these new shades then stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so my lids are already prepped with some of my Too faced born this way concealer the first shadow that I'm going into is this black matte shade that has the little tiny hint of glitter in there. It just kind of reminds me of outer space. It's so, so pretty. You can just barely see the glitter in there, but it builds up nicely and blends out very easily. Now to blend out the edge of that black, I'm going into the shade ACM29, which is that beautiful matte purple shade. It's kind of like a red toned purple very very pretty and I'm just blending those together buffing out the edge of that black so that those two shadows blend nicely and look seamless now to further blend out that purple up into my brow bone I'm going into this light shade 
ACM26. It's a really nice light kind of, I mean, it's a great transition shade for colors like this. As you can see, it blended that purple out very nicely. Now for my lid, I wanted to go into the gold shade, which of course is ACS30. The one I showed earlier, that swatch was amazing. But when I saw it on my lid, oh my gosh, I was just like, this is gorgeous. So I'm just placing that down with a flat brush and I did spray my brush a little bit with just a little bit of water just to dampen it a bit. Now I'm going in with my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. As usual, you guys know this is my favorite and I'm just creating a simple wing for this eye look today. Did you guys see that blend in that crease? Oh my gosh, I love these shadows, you guys. Very, very nice. Now that my complexion is complete, I can move on to my lower lash line. So I'm going back into that purple and I'm just using that to smoke out my lower lash line just a bit using a dense pencil type brush. I'm also going in with just a regular black eyeliner. This is my Milani Stay Put Black Eyeliner. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into one of the diamond shades, which is ACD5. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I mean, <laughs> this has to be one of my favorite shadows in this whole collection. It is so, so pretty. I don't know that it necessarily matches this eye look, but I wanted to show you guys just how it pops on the eyes. So I'm using my Pretty Vulgar Mascara today for my upper and my lower lashes. And for lips, I'm using my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner. I thought this would be perfect for this eye look. I know you guys are like, KK, you think that lip liner is perfect with everything. <laughs> But, but it was, it was perfect for this, you guys. And I'm using my ColourPop Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Notion. So yeah, I got a nice, deep, plummy lip today. So this is the final look with these Adept shadows, you guys. I already knew I love their previous formula. And honestly, I love these even more. So easy to work with, so easy to blend. And the, the shimmers are amazing. So... So glad I was able to share these with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.